All right, boys, it's Madden season, passing settings, game settings, everything. Let me show you guys the passing settings that I use to throw the best passes in Madden 25. And Dummy is your Madden bullet. Bro, what is up with these no guys? Week, super bummer, dude. All right, here we go, man. A new year, Madden 25. What are the best settings? What are the best things to use? We just came off of college football that had similar settings, but they also had the new revamped passing which, I mean, if you're going to put it in college, why not put it in Madden? Another one of the reasons why it's dope that college and Madden are different games. But let's talk about Madden now because I know that's what you guys are playing. Let me know. Are you guys still playing college? Are you playing Madden? What are you guys playing? But I play every night on Twitch. That link is below. You can see me use these meters. Offensive ebook is also out. The Madden Turf link is below to follow that as well if you're needing help on offense. But these are the actual settings that I use on Madden. These are the ones I like. These are the ones I love. First of all, kick meter, one of the most disappointing things in Madden 25 is that they have this, the the old kick meter. The best thing, one of the best things about college was it was hard to kick field goals. It was sweaty. That 55-yard field goal was not automatic. Now in Madden, it's as easy as ever. Uh, so really disappointed that they didn't go to this multimeter permanently. And people say you can switch to it, but why would I switch to the harder kick meter? So for me, I think the multi-meter should have been standard this year in Madden. So, But I'm going to stay on classic because it's easy. You're going to make every field goal easy. But control scheme, I don't know what that is. Mm, okay. That's if you want to press the button twice to pass. You never want to do that. You want to tap, hold to throw a bullet, and let go when you want. You know. And then passing type, we're definitely going to go placement and accuracy. It enables the timing element for perfect accuracy on bullet passes on top of visual targets to control the pass, placement, and power. Uh, so for me, that's how you, you have a meter above your player that fills up when you want to throw a bullet pass. It fills up, and then you let go. Hopefully, it's in the perfect thing. To be honest, I don't even look at the meter when I pass. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I really don't look at the meter. We'll talk about it when we get into the game a little bit. Pass lead increase. This is essentially your max reticle space i want to say that it used to be in the game uh last year was max reticle space and i put that pretty low and this year i'm going none i don't want to go outside of the realm i don't want to go outside of i don't need to do too much players are open in this game and it's my job to design the players to get open if i have to throw it that obnoxiously far away from defenders or anything uh, the play is not that good. And if you put this any higher, small, medium, large, anything, you're going to get more overthrows or more missed throws. You might be able to make some ridiculous throws. But in Madden, uh, I want the consistent throws made consistently. All right? Because uh, I'm doing a good job of designing plays and calling the right plays to get my players open that I don't need uh, outrageous pass leads, outrageous placement of the ball. So for me, all, none is for me. Reticle speed, seven. This has been kind of standard here in the last couple years with the standard reticle speed of seven. Visibility, to me, I mean, I guess I have it on right now. Uh, most of the time, I really don't like it. Hit stick, quality feedback, timing feedback. I kind of like this, but it's off right now. I'm disappointed when it says boom tech, boom tech, and we're not getting fumbles. Um, auto flip is just dependent. Ball hawk always on. Heat seeker off. It just make sure people like, make sure user take weird angles. I want to say, look, user controlled defenders are steered towards the ball carrier when attempting to run or dive into them. It just kind of messes up their pursuit. I, I don't know. I haven't played with it on in a couple years, so that's off. Defensive player assist never really on. What that is is when you click on somebody, it takes a second for you to like have control of them, so you don't mess them up. But uh, I'm an adult. If I mess them up, it's my fault. I want full control instantly. Yeah, so those are the settings that I'm using, but mostly the, the passing one. Let's take a look at what we can do with that as we're sitting here with Aaron Rodgers, who without a doubt is, you know, the best quarterback in regs, really. I mean, Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers. Let's just do a little bunch because, you know, bunch drinking the punch. Remember, boys, pro tip, sub out the – I mean, the pass rush in this motor is ridiculous. But if you sub in the 48 overalls, maybe it won't be as bad. Who knows? See, if you look, that's – that meter, it fills up. The meter fills up, and then when you hold the button, like B I held right there, and you want it, that's yellow. See, that's a little bit underthrown. Yellow's not the best. 
well, it's also Jalen Ramsey, so. Yellow again, a little bit, if you see like a little bit behind him, you, well, you wanna try to stop that meter a little bit earlier on your, on your, that greenish is like the best color, I wanna say. But truthfully, boys, I, I, I couldn't tell you like what's the, what's the most perfect thing ever. That looked good, that yellow. Yellow, blue, I think the or the more orange you get, the more random RNG you're gonna get. Blue right there. To stop that a little bit earlier. The key is to try to stop it a little bit earlier. Now, if you get under pressure, or you get on the run, or you get different types of throws, your meter will be different, you know? So essentially, it's like, you don't wanna mash your bullet pass, really, with placement and accuracy. blue see the difference in the throw the difference in the throw is he catches it absolutely on the run doesn't have to slow down and sometimes that's what happens to me sometimes and i've noticed that in the last two games trying to make sure i don't hit a perfect bullet pass sometimes i won't hit it as hard and i'll just pump fake it green green i think is actually perfect it's better than blue but it's something you can rep out in practice mode and really get really get used to it. So you just get way better animations when you hit those greens and blues than you do with, per, with, with oranges. Blue. And then there's different shades of blue. There's like, so like for me, <laughs> I wish I could tell you all the answers for this. Green pass is beautiful. You want the cool colors, green and blue, orange not not the ideal one and we got we actually got looped right there nice but yeah these are the passing settings that i like i don't need the quarterback to do too much with the ball you know we can go and try we can try something different and show you guys what i mean if we go settings options settings and we can go with like let's even if we go medium raise this a little bit you know maybe i can make some better throws and you probably can. You can probably make some ridiculous throws with these settings. You know? I mean, that was almost, I caught the ball almost a little bit better right there. Hold up. What's going to happen is you're randomly going to overthrow one. Okay. Okay, Conklin. You know? And this is medium and 13. And at the end of the day, what we want as players is we want the automatic to be automatic. You know, you don't need the outrageous to be outrageous. We just, we really need the automatic to be automatic. And it re the really easiest way to tell what you can do with this is if you're just chucking some streaks. We always like to chuck some streaks, right boys? Ah, a little bit too much right there. A little cover two action. We got a little cover. Chucking some. All right, I'm over it already. I'm over it already. Just trying to get a nice little lob out here. That was honestly nice. I, I actually threw the ball back into the right right there, and it was pretty good for uh, Garrett Wilson right there. You can feather some balls. Fe See, like like these little misses. Even like I'm just haven't got those with the settings that I'm using. You know, so like all this is all I would need to see. To say these aren't the settings for me. I mean, you know, and I think you can do enough pass leading with the seven or yeah, with the. See, that's all right, I've had enough. Like I tried to go through the window. I tried to put that through the window, through the window, through the wall. But like, see, I have a little window right here, pass lead right, and it just went too far. So th this is why, and I've done, and I've experimented with this a million different times this is why i chose what i choose boom seven none now you can mess with small and mess with but after everything i've done seven and none those are the settings for me boys